Hey everyone, Steve Patterson here from PhotoshopEssentials.com. In this video, I'll show you some time-saving tips you can use with layer blend modes when blending images in Photoshop. I'll be using Photoshop CC, but any recent version will work. Let's get started. To help us learn these tips and tricks, I'll use Photoshop to blend a texture with an image. Here's the image I'll be using. I downloaded this one from Adobe Stock. And if we look in my Layers panel, we see that I also have a texture on a layer above it. I cover how to move images into the same document in a separate video. So I'll turn the top layer on by clicking its visibility icon. And here's my texture, also from Adobe Stock. Photoshop's blend modes are all found in the upper left of the Layers panel, and the default blend mode is Normal. If you click on the Blend Mode option, you'll find lots of other blend modes to choose from. As of Photoshop CC, there's 27 blend modes in total. Before we go any further, it's important to know the difference between a layer blend mode and a tool blend mode, and I'll tell you why in a moment. Layer blend modes are all found in the Layers panel, and they control how a layer blends with the layers below it. But some of Photoshop's tools also include their own blend modes. If I choose the Brush tool from the toolbar, we see in the Options bar that it has its own Blend Mode option with its own Blend Modes to choose from. They may look the same as the Blend Modes in the Layers panel, but they're not. These Blend Modes affect the appearance of your brush strokes. They have no effect on any layers. And it's not just the Brush tool that has its own Blend Modes. Other brush-related tools, like the Spot Healing Brush, the Clone Stamp tool, and the Eraser tool all have their own Blend Modes. And so does the Gradient tool and even the Paint Bucket tool. In fact, most of the brush and painting tools have them. The reason you need to know this is that if you have one of these tools selected, you may accidentally select the Tools Blend Mode when you're really meant to select a Layer Blend Mode. So to use the shortcuts we're about to learn to switch between Layer Blend Modes, first make sure you have a tool selected that doesn't have its own Blend Modes. The Move tool works great, and so do any of Photoshop's selection tools. I'll grab the Move tool from the toolbar. Let's look at how to quickly scroll through the layer blend modes to see the effect that each one has on our image. The way most people try out blend modes is that they click on the blend mode option in the layers panel, then they choose a random blend mode from the list, and then see what they get. If they like it, great. If not, they click on the blend mode option again and choose a different blend mode, and see if they like this result better. Then they do the same thing again, choosing another random blend mode and comparing the results. While that's one way to work, there's a faster way, and that's by scrolling through the blend modes from your keyboard. I'll set my blend mode back to normal. Now I'm using a Windows PC here, and before we look at the keyboard shortcuts, notice the blue highlight border around my blend mode option. You won't see this on a Mac, but on a PC, this blue border is telling us that the blend mode option is currently selected, and while it's selected, the keyboard shortcuts won't work. To deselect it, press the Escape key on your keyboard. Again, this is only for PC users. Then, to scroll through the blend modes, press and hold the Shift key on your keyboard and tap the plus sign repeatedly. Once you've moved through all 27 blend modes, you'll return to the normal blend mode. To scroll backwards through the list, keep your Shift key held down and tap the minus key instead. Scrolling through the blend modes is great when you're not sure which blend mode you need and just want to experiment. But if you do know which one you need, you can jump straight to it from your keyboard. Photoshop includes keyboard shortcuts for nearly all of its blend modes. To select a blend mode from your keyboard, press and hold your Shift key along with your Alt key on a Windows PC or the Option key on a Mac and then press the letter that's associated with the blend mode. For example, the first blend mode I chose earlier was Multiply. To select the Multiply blend mode, hold Shift Alt or Shift Option on a Mac and press the letter M. The second one I chose was Screen, which you can jump to by holding Shift Alt or Shift Option on a Mac and pressing S. To jump to the Overlay blend mode, hold Shift Alt or Shift Option on a Mac and tab O. Here's the complete list of keyboard shortcuts for Photoshop's layer blend modes. They all share the same two keys at the beginning, either Shift-Alt on a Windows PC or Shift-Option on a Mac. The only difference between them is the specific letter at the end. Out of Photoshop's 27 blend modes, only four of them are missing shortcuts, and those are Darker Color, Lighter Color, Subtract, and Divide. You'll rarely, if ever, use these ones, but if you do need them, you'll have to select them from the Layers panel.
Here's a great tip to make memorizing the shortcuts easier. Even though there's 23 shortcuts in total, you really only need to memorize a few of them, one from each of the blend mode groups. For example, let's say you want to use one of Photoshop's darkening blend modes, which include darken, multiply, color burn, linear burn, and darker color. To avoid memorizing the shortcut for each one, just memorize the main one, which is Shift-Alt-M or Shift-Option-M on a Mac for multiply. Then, use the other shortcut we learned earlier, which is to hold Shift and tap the plus or minus key to move up or down through the others in the group. And the same is true for the other groups as well. To try out the different lighten modes, which are lighten, screen, color dodge, linear dodge add, and lighter color, just press Shift-Alt-S or Shift-Option-S on a Mac to jump to the screen blend mode. Then hold Shift and use the plus or minus key to scroll through the others. For the contrast group of blend modes, which are Overlay, Soft Light, Hard Light, Vivid Light, Linear Light, Pin Light, and Hard Mix, press Shift-Alt-O or Shift-Option-O on a Mac to jump to Overlay. And then scroll through the list. And for the color blend modes, Hue, Saturation, Color, and Luminosity, press Shift-Alt-C or Shift-Option-C on a Mac to jump to the main one, Color, and then scroll to the one you need. And finally, if you like the overall look of a blend mode, but the effect is too strong, you can adjust the intensity directly from your keyboard. I'll jump to the Linear Light blend mode by pressing Shift-Alt-J or Shift-Option-J on a Mac. I like the colors, but the overall effect is too strong. To reduce the intensity of a blend mode, all we need to do is lower the opacity of the layer itself. You can do that from the Opacity option in the Layers panel, but you can also adjust it directly from your keyboard. Just press a number from 1 to 9 to jump the opacity value between 10% and 90%. For example, I can lower the opacity to 50% by pressing 5 on my keyboard. Or for a more specific value, like 55%, press the two numbers quickly. I'll switch to a different blend mode, like Screen, by pressing Shift-Alt-S or Shift-Option-S on a Mac. And then, to restore the opacity back to 100%, press 0 on your keyboard. And there we have it! That's some time-saving tips you can use with layer blend modes in Photoshop. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Visit our website, photoshopessentials.com, for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm Steve Patterson from photoshopessentials.com.